As you see, we already extract the pin block from the piano and we clean all the uh, places. Later on, we're gonna glue uh, the new one. And uh, we're on the way to measure. Uh, we need some uh, reference from the old pin block, uh, transfer it to the new panel. You see, that's what we use. The panels like that, it's uh, 12 layers laminated maple and we we just try to make some shape on uh, on this uh, heavy duty piece uh, of course we got here the place with with the lights again always lights always lights it's very important you see you work very comfortable you have two pieces actually right as you remember the way we cut it you just put it just like this on the old panel this one is goes the same like you cut it, basically like that. Just draw the line, uh, the front, the front line. Uh, you can just use it like a reference, like that. You can use the side here. Draw the line and here too. And in our case, we cut it a little bit more here because uh, we're gonna just slowly just uh, adjust it to the flange. That's why we, 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 you might uh, cut some wood. That's why you need extra wood like that. And it's, it's pretty just like noticeable. Just put our ruler here to cut extra. A little bit like that, right? And to be sure, just always, if you have any doubt, whatever you do it, you might just check it. Yeah, that's right. Because sometimes you might miss something and then you have to use another panel. Just straight line. Uh, we're going to cut uh, uh, this piece because it's going to be easy to work uh, with this piece. It's going to be like almost twice lighter. In order to cut it, uh, we have to use the table saw. Uh, that's a table saw. Of course, uh, this is sliding table. Actually, that's another tool that uh, we recommend you in your uh, restoration. Just on the table saw, put a sliding table with a clamp. You see, it's very easy to do it. I think we show you already some uh, sliding table on this uh, saw that uh, we, I think we cut some uh, back key felt. But this is just a general cut. You can clamp anything here and uh, slide it. Uh, it's really comfortable and uh, you secure yourself, right? And uh, of course, uh, we have the place for this. Uh, it's not a light table because it's done from metal. We just like put it in. Yeah, that's a very good. And uh, uh, now we can, uh, you see our table is on, uh, on the wheels, that now we're gonna cut it all the way through. This again, uh, we uh, turn uh, the fan because it's gonna be a lot of batteries. And uh, just it's a general thing is everybody can do it. <laughs> pieces. This is what left over. Uh, later on you can do whatever you want from this piece. It's still very bulky. And that's our pin block. Uh, the next step is going to be uh, to cut this extra uh, piece to get this line on the pin block. And uh, here, the cross one. Uh, in order to do this one, uh, we use just no regular tool saw saw or just a uh, band saw we we'll show you later on. But the one thing that whatever you work on the pin block, uh, uh, you, uh, you need to clamp it somehow. One person hold the pin block, right? When they cut it or when they uh, do anything, just like fit it to the flange. Uh, in our case, we want to show you some very, very uh, like helpful tool, or you can call it a bench. And it's here it is. Uh, that's this bench I designed it especially to hold the 
pin block. As you see here, we got a groove. Uh, but, of course, uh, you can use the clamps here, but every time you have to clamp it, and it's just already just a time-consuming thing, and if you use clamps, it's, uh, increase uh, the time uh, more. That's why I made here, as you see, it's uh, off-center blocks here. There's a gravity. Like, uh, I made them a little bit uh, smaller uh, than the size of the pin block, but when you put it together, they just lift it and they hold it to this bar. And it's extremely just comfortable. I'll show you how it works. Let's say I want to work with this. I want to do some work here. And instead of uh, use the clamps, I just slide it down, and as you see, the blocks, by the weight, they just push it in the front, and it's stable. You have to put uh, bolts uh, on the ends, because the floor might be not even, you have to adjust for the particular place. And as you see, I uh, can work on my pin block without any other help. Now I want to show you uh, this cut, right? This cut, uh, it has to be done. Uh, by the sozo, since the pin block already here, I just cut it. Yeah, that's the cut, the, the last cut of the sozo I need. Now, the next step is to cut this line. And as you see on the old pin block, it's, uh, it's on the angle. Uh, if you cut it uh, straight, then you have to do a lot of, a lot of cuts. That's why you'd better uh, give your, uh, your a little bit just more comfortable work and cut it on the angle. In order to do this, you have to use the bandsaw. And the bandsaw uh, got an adjustable table. And in order to uh, read the angle, you can just uh, put uh, this pin block on the uh, table saw and just adjust it. Let me show you how we do it. Here is the table saw, right? And as you see, I, I'm gonna cut first the long uh, part of the pin block. Uh, it's a tenor and treble section. And as you see, I can, I can adjust this angle here. You see, uh, it's adjustable. I can do it like that, like that. And uh, once I see the angle on the pin block, I'm just slightly, you see, I'm slightly put it towards uh, this side. And uh, on this particular uh, pin block, it's not a, a lot of angle. It's because Stanway is different. They always like that. Uh, that's why we prepare uh, this one. And I'll just show you uh, how we're going to cut a new one. section we're going to cut on another angle and from this side that's the angle and we just like to lock it we took the measurements from base uh, angle similar to this one It's a, the first step, we just uh, use the reference from all pin block and we cut it closer. Uh, now uh, we use, we use uh, the bench, uh, of course, a lot. Uh, mark it here, as you see, it works very comfortable. And uh, in order for us to shape this and uh, fit uh, to the flange, we need a stool. Of course, uh, you can use files, you can use uh, many different types of the tool, uh, but uh, through just years of experience, we came to the best uh, design, it's an uh, air tool. It's just like, it's like uh, rotate uh, this tip and this, uh, the metal tip. They got different uh, shapes, different 
uh, thickness and uh, this one comes the most uh, just comfortable and of course uh, as you see we we got the bridge of uh, this place it got air that we blow the debris like this like this it's, it's going to be hanging here and the line for our tree it's very important because otherwise uh, you got a lot of a lot of uh, problems you have a lot of and as you see, can I just show you uh, how it works? As you see, the, uh, the, sh uh, the edges is very sharp. And the first what I do here, I just try to make them a little bit round. And uh, uh, of course, you will see that the process of feeding is going to be really complicated, time consuming. But nothing you can do with this. It has to be done perfect. Because once the pin block set, you don't want to move it. You want it to stay for century and now it's just first i want to show you how it works as you see it works very nice and of course we have the place to put it here it's holding here Everything is supposed to be uh, in a reach of your hands. Then you're going to be working really hard. Uh, let's show you and go to inspect uh, the cast iron plate that we already flipped it over and put it on a position that we work comfortable. We continue uh, with our project on the pin block. And as you see, uh, we uh, put our plate on the truck. Uh, now we got access to the flange and uh, as you remember we already pre-cut our pin block and just uh, you have to analyze a little bit uh, the position the uh, condition of your plate and uh, as you see here uh, the way how done we did here on this tenor section the plate uh, a little bit goes up that's why we have to cut the wood because our pin block flat and it's going to be just like wobbling here on this uh, place. That's why before even we put uh, the pin block, we can pre-cut it, or you can do it uh, right from the scratch. Since we got our bench, our magic bench, right, that uh, hold the pin block, and uh, that's the pin block pre-cut already. As you see, it's a flat surface. Uh, when we put it uh, on our cast iron plate, you will see this uh, bump on the plate. Not on the on the way you see that's what it is our pin block is not solid because it's just like uh, sitting on the bump of course uh, you can uh, check the imprint of this like hammer here and, this. and you will see it's gonna be imprint that's one that we're gonna cut and uh, we show you how we do it just put it here and using our tool <laughs> Now I'm not going to turn the fan, just uh, in order just that you can hear my voice. And you see it's like this. You see, I did, I did a little bit more because uh, the bump is pretty big. That's why I cut a little bit more. And of course, you, you see, you put uh, your cutting tool here on the side. And uh, the reason why you need this air here, that you blow this. You don't want to transfer these particles to, uh, to the cast iron plate. And then you can start one more time. And then you put it. You see, it's already better, but it's still wobbling. And now you, we can... And now, as you see, as you see, we are uh, we did a very good cut. It's pretty close. Now, just with a slightly with the hammer, we just get another imprint. Like that. One more here. And as you see, we got prints here, 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 and here. It means this portion of our pin block still hanging. It's not touching the flange. And, and here we still got a little bit 
We got here a little bit. That's what we're going to take care of. Again, we're going back to our bench. And... to the surface of our flange. And you will see it's, it's, it's already almost, almost without warming. But we still just like uh, uh, pound and just make the imprints. Uh, the one thing I want to show you that, of course, uh, in this case, uh, we use the graphite that left over from uh, before. Uh, and it looks like it might be not enough. That's why we, what we can do, we just like put the pin block back on our bench and we can use uh, the liquid, liquid graphite. You can get them. They got different types. Uh, we can use this one. And yes, of course, you, you shake it, we shake it already. And you can apply this graphite to the flange like that. Like that. It's more graphite on the flange. And this, it's vaporized fast. Just wait till it dry, or if you want to do it fast, you can blow it in it. closer closer we just uh, uh, eventually after maybe 10 times we get to these surfaces and when all of them gonna be just like with the marks from the graphite that's probably gonna be the uh, the good fit it uh, still there are some technique to uh, when you're getting closer you cut it as, as less as, as much uh, just as possible just to get it very close but uh, sometimes it takes a uh, uh, long time, sometimes you're lucky, uh, especially in our case, as you see, it's uh, going to be just done pretty, uh, just like, um, fast. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, we're going to just finish this portion, and then we'll show you the next steps of what you're doing on the piano. 